back on the road. Here's a little life update in case you didn't know. We were stranded in Idaho Falls for about 10 days. We were waiting for our car to get fixed, which we were having problems with when we were in Jackson Hole, but there were no mechanics available there, so we had to go to Idaho Falls. Never in our lives did we think we would be exploring Idaho. It never was a state that interested us. You know what? This is America. This is America. There's so many amazing states, and every state has something great to offer, so of course, we found some cool things that we're excited to show you here in Idaho. Woo right now we're at Shoshone Falls. They call it the Niagara Falls of the West and it's even a bit taller than Niagara Falls. It's about 212 feet and it is a massive waterfall. crazy because we're in a canyon. This is the Snake River, the famous Snake River, and there are the falls. Very, very powerful. Something really cool you can do here is actually paddleboard to the falls. There's a few people doing it out there on the Snake River. It looks really fun, but I don't think we're gonna do that today because we gotta save our arms for tomorrow. It's like Anna said, we gotta save our energy for tomorrow because we're gonna be kayaking in the Thousand Springs and Blue Heart Springs, very clear water, and we're gonna make a day out of it tomorrow. Just got to the free campsite for tonight. We're the only ones here. The Snake River's right there, Anna's walking to it. And we're about 20 minutes away from where we're gonna set off kayaking tomorrow. This is so cute, I love it here. It's my kind of place. There's a guy out on his boat bumping some tunes right now. Wish we could hop on. Sadly, Anna and I forgot our boat for today. We can't take our boat out. We're just gonna cook, all right? That's all you guys get from us. All right, Anna, what is on the menu tonight? Tonight we're having turkey burgers and a mango salsa on the side that Ian likes, so yeah. As Anna's cooking behind me, I wanna talk more about how we were broken down for 10 days. We did not expect it to happen this early on in the trip, but thank gosh, it was an easy fix. Being stuck in a place for 10 days when your car is literally your home is no good. That has to be the worst part of van life, a broken down car. So what did we do during our 10 days in Idaho Falls? Well, we caught up on videos and the spots we went to every single day were Panera, Planet Fitness, or Walmart. I would have to say if we did not have Panera, we would not have any videos out and it would have been a miserable time when we were broken down. So thank you Panera so much. Okay, I think Anna deserves to be on Master Chef. She makes gourmet meals out in the woods. Gordon Ramsay, you better give her a call. If you guys don't know Anna and I, well, Anna wants to be on Master Chef before she turns 30. I think she deserves it. She's gonna keep practicing. We are gonna eat our dinner in peace, so we will see you tomorrow when we are gonna explore the Thousand Springs and Blue Heart Springs area in a kayak. Woot woot, yip yip. Good morning from Twin Falls, Idaho. We're about to head to Blue Heart Springs. We just made ourselves some sandwiches for lunch. We're gonna go have some fun right now. Grab some coffee first though. We have just arrived at Banbury Hot Springs where we're gonna rent a kayak for the full day. It's about $45, not too bad. It's a tandem kayak and we are prepared today. I'm talking so fast because I'm on coffee. I'm so excited to actually do something fun. We haven't done something fun in like 12 days. I just took a nap. And it took a nap before we're going and the sun's about to come out. It's gonna be a good day. We are on our kayak. We're taking our good old time. Taking a good old time. I might even start drinking already. Yeah, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of people there at this hour, so we're in no rush and it is super hot. Today, the high is 98 degrees, so wish us luck. Before we get to Blue Heart Springs, we wanna give a huge woot woot to Cali Case, the sponsor of our video. It's an underwater phone case that also floats. 
as you can see right here. And we've brought this thing on many hikes with us. Now we're kayaking with it and we were just in the Grand Tetons cliff jumping and it was perfect to get some underwater shots as well as in the water shots. If you're interested in this, we're gonna have some fun with it today. You could use the code the other side for 20% off. Go get yourself a Cali case. All right, well, I was being stupid and I put the Cali case with my phone on the edge of the paddle and I was like trying to pass to Anna. I fell in and now we gotta go get it. Ian's face when it happened, I was dying. It is. He's like, I can't get it. Did you get it? Yeah, I just didn't want to spill my drink. Thank you, Cali case. Good as new. We went through 12 days of stress thinking that we would be done with the road trip, but now we are on the Snake River that runs all the way from the Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming all the way up through Washington. It's a thousand miles and it's, I think it's the ninth largest river in the United States. We're starting to get into the canyon, so we're seeing waterfalls, bluer water. It's absolutely beautiful. This is my kind of day. You know, light exercise, some drinks, some water, some sun. Ian's making us go down here. There is no way this leads to anything by the way. He's just back there laughing his ass off. We are just entering Blue Heart Springs right here. You can't tell how blue it is, but it's getting clearer and clearer. It's in this little cove right here, but you could tell. Look at that. That's like Philippines water. Really, really clear. Look at this. To be completely honest, I'm just speechless. I have no words. Would have never expected something this gorgeous to be in Idaho before. So happy for whatever journey brought us here because I love this. If you're coming here, make sure to bring extra booze because we ran out right away and it is hot out. I just want to really stress that it's not normal to swim in this water for that long. 58 degrees, so I was a lifeguard for five years and the typical average temperature of a pool is about 82 degrees. 58 degrees is not normal, I'm freezing. I don't wanna be like and complaining, but like, I really wanted to swim because it was so pretty. We were here for eight hours. Now we're gonna head back to our campsite that we slept at last night, and I have been dying to make some shut lately. We made it back to our beloved campsite. It's about to rain, but Anna made beautiful blue shut -ups. Let's go have dinner in our car. You know earlier when I was talking about what sucks with van life? Well, another thing that sucks is when it starts raining, we cannot cook outside. We had so much fun bringing you guys on that little adventure to Blue Heart Springs today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought. We will see you in the next one. Woo!